Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. I got the first upgrade for you guys today on the Wasser 1063 rifle. I know it's been a long time coming. I've had this rifle I think since September, even August. And uh, I did share with you guys the plan on what I plan on doing with this particular rifle from turning it to its original conf configuration to a uh, more home defense, real lightweight type rifle. Um, but I got some money together. I got the first upgrade here for you guys today, which is going to be the replacing the pistol grip. So uh, we're going to kick it off with this rifle and get some videos out for you guys and kind of turn this rifle into what I want it to be. Um, so like I mentioned, we're going to be doing the pistol grip replacement. And we're going to be changing from the original grip here, which is kind of a, a Bakelite looking type grip, but it's just a hard plastic. Uh, we're going to be replacing it with the ATI Advanced Technology AK-47 Scorpion uh, Recoil Pistol Grip. And uh, if you are um, so familiar with my channel, have been subscribed to me for a while, you know that on my Vepper build I used this same exact uh, grip and was really impressed with it. It gives you a nice grab on the gun. It's got uh, some finger grooves with some texturing to it. It uh, is a lot thicker than the original one here, obviously, and it's uh, more of a rubbery, uh, rubbery type material that you know can absorb a little bit more of your um, grip on it. So I was really, like I said, impressed with it. I wasn't able really to find anything that was comparable, uh, U.S. made for 922R compliance that uh, I wanted to go with or thought would be uh, you know a little bit better than what this was. So that's what I got. I got it from Amazon.com. It ran about uh, $32. Uh, the, mar the model number here, part number is A is an Apple, 0 0.5, 0 0.10, 0 0.2346, which will be in the description of the video as well. Uh, but what we're guys going to do is uh, just go ahead and replace this grip, put that on here, and we'll put the gun into a vise, and we'll kind of go from there, guys. All right, guys, so we have the gun and a vise here, which makes it a lot easier to do your work. We're using the uh, CTK Precision Ultimate Gun Vise, which is a great product. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of break this gun down to do the assembly or replacement of the pistol grip. Just wanted to make one quick note is I don't know if you're going to be seeing this video through the actual camcorder or through my pivot head uh, video recording sunglasses. I'm kind of testing out whether I can do a point of view on these uh, assembly type videos and see if that makes things a little bit easier to see and a and, uh, little bit easier of a video for you guys to watch, that kind of thing. So, not really sure what you're going to be seeing, but you're going to be seeing one or the other. Uh, what we're going to start with on this gun is kind of just disassembly. Like I said, we'll start with the dust cover in the back here. We'll pop that up and off. We'll do the recoil spring. We'll remove that. We'll remove our uh, bolt and bolt carrier. Uh, what we're also going to do, and I don't think this is absolutely necessary, but we are going to remove the stock on this particular rifle to get uh, get in there and, and remove the, the nut that's holding in the pistol grip a little easier. So we're just going to remove the rear tang screw here. We're going to remove the uh, other screw which screws into the back of the receiver. And that should allow us to remove this stock. A little bit tight and now we have kind of an easy way of getting in there and replacing this pistol grip and getting that nut out of there so uh, not sure what you guys are going to be able to see but there is that nut down there holding that in down there in the bottom of the receiver at this point what we're going to do is we're going to remove the screw out of the bottom of the pistol grip here which goes all the way through to the receiver See, it's a pretty long one there. And at that point, we should be able to wiggle our pistol grip off. And as you can see, you have the bolt there that's just holding it in, or the nut, I should say. And uh, the nut is angled back towards the back of the receiver, which is an important note if you're not re familiar with replacing these uh, grips. That uh, nut will pop right out of the back of the receiver there. It does say TAPCO on there, so it's a US made part. Now we're going to go ahead and replace it with this AK-47 Scorpion Recoil Pistol Grip by ETI. Inside, there's instructions on how to do it, although it's pretty self-explanatory. You have the grip itself, and you have some mounting hardware. And uh, make one note is that uh, the mounting hardware that comes with the grip does need to be used. You're not able to use the original um, screw that uh, held the original grip in place. 
And just a comparison there of the two grips side by side. You can see that it's uh, the ATI one is much bigger, much thicker. It's actually a rubbery instead of a hard plastic. It's got the finger grooves and it's got the texturing within the finger grooves, which is really nice as well. So that's what we're going to be working with today. Uh, to uh, get this pistol grip ready to go, we're just going to remove the back palm swell here off the grip, which will give you access to the hole in the bottom of the grip for the replacement screw, which will hold everything together in your nuts and bolts. And you're going to want to use your screw and your uh, lock washer here, as well as your mounting uh, nut there. The nut, uh, like I said, we just want to be careful when we're putting it down that we're putting it down in the right way. And I'm pretty sure uh, it goes this way here. I always do it the wrong way, so we'll see how that comes out. I'm just using a needle nose pliers to, uh, yeah, of course. You can see it's angled in towards the, the trigger guard there. We actually want it the opposite way. So I'm going to pull that back out. Oh, boy. This is probably the most difficult part for me, at least. I'm, I'm not that... Uh, good at this kind of stuff with the coordination of getting these parts in the right way. And of course I drop things like no one else. Let's see if we can get it in the right way. There we go. So as you can see now it's angled towards the back of the receiver which is what we want. Now at that point we can go ahead and take our lock washer, put it over our screw, and that's going to hold everything in place. We can take our screw and we can put it into the bottom of the pistol grip here. Now squeeze that in there. You're going to want to take your one finger, put it in here, hold that uh, nut, and at the same time kind of line these up. And I forgot to test the size here of what particular Allen wrench we're going to need for this, so I'm going to kind of feel this out here, and hopefully I got the right one. This looks, looks a little big, but it's a little bit big. There we go. And we're just going to slowly tighten that in. Make sure the grip is in the right position. And it does have some uh, Loctite, it looks like, on the screw. So it is going to be a little bit difficult as you screw it in, but just because of that uh, Loctite that's on there. But you should be able to tell as you go how tight it is, and when you're all the way there, it'll lock up pretty nice. And there you go. So that's the uh, installed grip. The nut holding it in looks like it's nice and secure. We can go ahead and put our uh, palm swells back on. And they do provide, if I didn't lose them here, two little screws and they look like they're uh, Phillips head. I'll grab a Phillips head screwdriver here. But those will go into the bottom of the grip here and that will hold everything in place. This, uh, as you can tell it was pretty tight in order for me to slide it off but having these screws in here definitely improve that reliability of it not coming apart on you. Screw those in nice and tight. And that's uh, the installation of the pistol grip guys. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a real nice grip. Like I said I can hold this gun with one hand much better than what I would normally be able to with just that original grip on there so uh, definitely an improvement in my opinion for a home defense type rifle like this uh, that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know uh, I appreciate you watching and until next time guys take her easy